Antibiotics transformed modern medicine and helped double our lifespan in the last century. But bacteria evolved to outsmart drugs. Dangerous infections that no longer respond to antibiotics are spreading quickly, and new antibiotics aren't coming on the market fast enough to replace them. You, our readers, sent a host of questions about rising rates of drug-resistant infections. Here are some answers. Before modern antibiotics emerged in the mid-20th century, people relied on natural remedies like garlic, honey, and moldy bread to prevent and treat bacterial infections. In fact, many of the compounds in today's antibiotics were extracted from natural products. But for an ingredient to be approved as a medicine, it has to go through clinical trials to see if it is safe and effective. And there haven't been rigorous clinical trials of garlic. Much of today's modern medicine is focused on identifying a single active ingredient. Traditional herbal medicine often uses a mix of herbs and minerals, making it difficult to define the precise compound. Clinical trials are also expensive, and any drugs to treat bacterial infections are supposed to be used sparingly, which means companies struggle to sell enough volume to get a return on investment. There's a lot of research underway into new ways to fight bacterial infections beyond antibiotics. Many of these target the human gut. One promising area is phages, which are naturally occurring viruses that infect and kill bacteria. They are found wherever you find bacteria, such as in the gut microbiome, the community of tiny organisms in your gut that keep you healthy. Researchers are also studying how to manipulate the microbiome itself. But even if any of these new approaches are successful, they won't be available to patients for years. So there's still an urgent need to invest in new antibiotics.